everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Jill today we are painting again and this time I am gonna put veins on this real born Cali we'll also be doing some undertones on her and we'll be starting on her creasing I'm a little bit nervous to do this part because I heard that it can be a little bit tricky or a lot tricky and so I'll probably end up using my little test vinyl here first to attempt it and hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> What's really cool about Shaylin Maxwell's A to Z Reborn course which is what I am participating in to show me how to do this because I have no prior experience is that she provides charts for the undertones and the veining so that I'll know exactly where to put them. If you enjoy videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I have my workspace all set out and ready for me. I have my paints, my paintbrushes. You can't see them because they're off to the side. My odorless thinner, I'm using some Q-tips. I have a feeling I might need those. And I got a bunch of sponges ready because I'm actually going to follow the advice of one of my... Um, watchers. I don't know if you're a subscriber or not, Anasha. But Anasha gave me wonderful advice and that's to use multiple sponges to absorb all that excess paint because that's one of the issues I was having with last time. So thank you, Anasha. I'm excited to follow your tip. I don't know if I'll really need to use that on this veining section, but it's definitely something I'm keeping in mind and I will apply it when the time comes and I need to. Okay, so let's do this. I'm super excited. I am going to hit play on my A to Z Reborn course modules because they tell me step by step how to do everything and I'm just going to follow along. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to practice and just see what this is like because I'm all nervous about it. I feel like this is really hard because I don't feel like this looks very clean. Huh. No. All right, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try maybe a little different technique. I don't know what my different technique is, but I'm gonna try it again. I'm just gonna try to be better. <laughs> All right, something like that. I love the line, the blue veins up here on the temples. So I'm gonna try to get some of that going out here. That's looking better, right? So when I pounce it, that's gonna be the true test. All right, her temples can be right, right here. That's looking better. Okay, I'm happy. I'm proud of myself right now for doing that. And let's pounce it. Let's see what happens when I go to pounce that. This is the scary part. I'm gonna use a new sponge. Thanks, Anasha. So I'm taking my time, taking my time. Taking a walk downtown, walking slow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mommy like you, mommy like you, mommy like you. Oh, yeah, it's going good. It's going good, guys, it's going good. Oh, that looks really good. I am, mm -hmm. All right, look at that, you guys. Did I do good? Now I'm just bummed that this is on my test head and not my real head. Okay, I'm going to put that right here for inspiration. I am going to inspire myself. Now I'm going to speed up the process, add a little bit of banging beats to the, you know, ambiance here, and I'm going to do all the rest of the veining. So I might throw in some undertones too. So let's just do it. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost look a lot better once like all the other layers and everything are applied on top of it so I'm not I'm trying not to be like too harsh on myself if it doesn't look like super amazing right now at this stage and I can actually feel myself getting so excited right now because like I already feel like I see the baby coming together okay guys so this is my finished leg 
But okay, I'm gonna add some blue undertones too to the bottom of the foot, I guess. Deja vu, guys. I'm having deja vu. That must mean that I am on the right path. What do you guys think deja vu is? Or like, what do you think? Do you think it means something like spiritually? Like, I think it means I'm on the right path. But I just had it while I was adding this this half of the blue over here like i didn't have it when i did this half and then all of a sudden i moved over here to do this half of the blue and that's how i know that that was the right choice because i was like i was like i don't know if i should put blue over here i don't know whatever i'm gonna risk it it's i'm keeping this baby i'll love it anyways and then i started doing it and i'm like oh deja vu yep that's the right choice i've made the right decision <laughs> okay i did the bottom of her but pretty blue. <laughs> I don't know if that's too much blue. Like originally I was just gonna do it just right here in the corner, but I just felt like making it more blue. So there we have that. I'm not liking some of these veins that I just did right here. They're not clean enough. I'm gonna go through a whole bag of sponges just on the veining. <laughs> but the good thing about having some parts that I don't feel really good about is I'll be able to see how those do later down the line in the other steps and see what happens to stuff that I don't feel that good about. Okay guys, I finished my second leg and I don't know if you can tell, but I got a couple smudgies right there outside the veins that I can't really remove. And they're really faint, but whatever, that was bound to happen. This leg, I went a little bit faster than the first one because I gained confidence and I think that that's what made you know, me end up not liking my lines so much. I don't feel like they're as blended. They might be a little bit too thick. I feel like this side was better. It's thinner. Now I'm going to start veining the arms. We will rise up and we follow the path that we believe in. No, we're not gonna stop until we reach it. All you need to know is that we're holding on. We rise up from the dust and clean my throat. My daughter, she still will have a lot of blue, like right here on her, um, on her thumb pad right here. It's like really, really blue. Okay, second arm is complete. Got her hand, a little bit blue. And this is what I went with this one. Now the nerve wracking part, I'm gonna do the head. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna give her a sugar bug because my daughter has that. We all have our reasons why we are on this track Oh, we all have our burdens, yeah But we just keep on fighting and we never look back Here we go, 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 let us heal and grow You won't be alone, we're unstoppable Don't be afraid to show what we're going for This is what we know Here we come back to still breathing Standing up, everybody's gonna see Okay, I'm pretty proud of this. This has her sugar bug, her corners of the eyes are blue, and these two veins at the top I think look pretty good so far. All you need to know is that we're holding on, even if we fall, we will rise up and we follow the path that we believe in. No, we're not gonna stop until we reach it. All you need to know is that we're holding on, we rise up from the dust and claim my throat. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to take a little bit of paint thinner on one of my other little brushes. 
and see if I can clean up some of these lines. Okay, no, that's not working. <laughs> this line in particular right here, it was like really thin at first and I couldn't blend it. It was like too harsh of a really thin line. So I added another layer of paint on top, let it sit for a little bit because I was like, maybe I can blend it. And it ended up just being a thicker harsh line that couldn't blend. I think I waited too long on some of these lines to try blending them because it took me longer to do these veins on this big surface area. So I ended up trying to blend it and I was kind of being a little rough trying to get in there and it kind of seemed to start chipping some paint away. I don't know if you can see. So now there's like a little rough texture spot on it, which sucks. <sighs> Oh well, but we'll see what happens when, you know, later down the line, what these veins look like. Okay, so <clears throat> this was hard, and I definitely have some concerns about my veining, and I think that maybe I needed to mix my color better, um, because hers looks a lot more like watery and thin and it's hardly noticeable whereas mine's like pretty like dark I feel like I want them to be barely there like under the skin look and I don't know if that's what this is gonna look like if you guys have any tips and advice for veining what kinds of brushes that you like to use that are your favorite when it comes to this any kind of techniques any kind of constructive criticism you have do my veins look like they're gonna be too dark here what can I do to prevent smudging anything that you guys have to suggest to me to help me out here I would be so appreciative and so grateful you guys have already been like so helpful I mean look how many sponges I've used just because of that one tip that I got <laughs> so again thank you Anasha for that because that definitely helped I definitely 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 needed to use a bunch of sponges <laughs> to try to keep these lines clean even though I feel like I did a terrible job <laughs> okay now let's go baker in the oven <laughs> was like uh does she know how dark those veins are on that baby because that totally doesn't look natural so if that doesn't tell you all you need to know about how dark my veins are then I don't know what does also I realized that uh I like licked my lipstick off like the whole time I was trying to like focus and concentrate I think I was just sitting here like <laughs> so note to self don't wear lipstick while you're painting anymore okay so I'm gonna use my ventilator mask because I'm using more of this now. trying to add more color to make it like maybe stand out more but I honestly can't see it at all and I don't know maybe it'll show up after it's baked but now I'm gonna go bake it I need y'all to pray for me pray I didn't just poison myself with toxic fumes I was baking my baby in the oven, then she was done, then I took the lid off to let her cool off, and I got a huge cloud of toxic vinyl fumes in my face, just all over my face. I luckily held my breath ahead of time so I didn't breathe any of it in, but I definitely got a nice facial from it. So I'm just gonna sit here and eat my enchiladas and cry. <laughs> so note to self, Wait a dang minute before you take the lid of your new wave oven off. And also, don't eat messy enchiladas on your reborn workstation table. 
I feel better now that I ate. It's kind of fun following along to Shaylin's tutorials because I don't feel so lonely up here when I'm doing it. Her voice is very calming, soothing, reassuring at a time when I'm afraid that I poison myself to death. So now we're gonna do some creasing. I'm really excited because I feel like this baby is gonna look kind of cool once it's done. You know what I mean. type detail to her like she's got this mark right here on her forehead she's got one on her eyebrow she's got one on her chin she's got red cheeks I think I'm gonna put a stork bike back here on the back of her neck and oh crap I forgot to blend her ears before I even started painting babies I knew that I wanted them to have cute little red ears all my kiddos had stork bites there we go, there's the stork bite, y'all. Okay, oh my gosh, I am seeing her come together. This is amazing. Look at her, she's gonna be a real baby. She might have too dark of veins, but she looks real. <gasps> this is so exciting. Okay, I think I'm done. Now I get to go bake her. <gasps> yes! I just remembered that I forgot to color in her nostrils. Oh well. Okay guys, so I finally finished today's work. This is the outcome as you can see. So she's totally looking different now. Like she's got life in her. She's actually, I feel like she's gonna be pretty cute and I'm really excited. I just hope that these veins can die down a little bit and not be so dark. I'm trying to trust the process, but if I did make them too dark, at least I know that I definitely wanna water down my vein color more next time but yeah that was so fun and i literally have been doing this all day i'm exhausted if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel